Hello everyone and welcome back to um, Relic Online. Uh, what we've got now is we've just actually come from the tutorial area. As you can see we are actually wearing uh, Relic Armour which is the best you can get in the starter zones. Um, we've actually got the Champion Mammoth which are the best weapons you can get in the starter areas as well. Um, obviously they'll be a lot weaker when you get to the mainlands. For Alpha there's only the starter areas available but there's quite a lot of zones involved. There's about roughly about 15 areas. What we're going to do is then we're going to talk to uh, Bert now. Well, for some reason he's saying I've already completed his task. So. Must have been something I already did before. And for some reason his name hasn't changed. His name is spelled wrong. Right, okay. What we are then? We're in a... Here we are. We're in the area now. We're in Ashwood. So what we're going to do is, as a quick rundown, um, it must have, and there's something that I've got to adjust, if I can actually remember, I don't understand why it's not worked with the bird, I think it's to do with an attribute or something set. Um, so what I do is, anyway, you talk to Bert, he will actually tell you to go and see uh, uh, Roland who works in, who lives in the actual uh, cathedral, you talk to him, it's entering the crypt to do some work, um, and then you head over with the with a manuscript over to uh, Ashwood to Verlin. Um, that's just a basic uh, intro to the main story. Um, they like rats and stuff like that. These are the kind of things that you will find it being there. Obviously, it's not going to do much to me because I'm a bit of a uh, when it comes to it. So quickly kill that. Obviously, drop systems here. You can see that you get a, a chest. These are going to be actual rare at the moment. They drop 100%. Um, it'll show up in your inventory. Um, with this you can right click it, it says, oh I've got 607 relic, um, obviously I didn't get anything extra, there's ch chances to get champion weaponry, relic armor and whatever else from these, but they are dropped extremely rare by lower levels, like that rat, uh, but obviously more, a lot more by higher leveled uh, characters. So what I've got here, I've got like a, a collection of like um, wheat and herbs. Uh, within this barrel here, it's actually what the um, what farmer or alchemist or whoever uh, keeps control of this small area has been put in this barrel. So you can actually go up to the barrel and you can harvest a small collection of wheat from it that you can use for your basic potions. Uh, I'm not going to show you just now because obviously no, I'll show you. It takes it doesn't take a long time. But Oh, it does it create a material for wheat icon on? Um, when you wait for this, and this will drop into your inventory. Excuse me. I'll also, we'll also show you some fishing as well. So you can actually see what what's going off with the actual fishing. I'm not going to keep walking around because there's quite a lot of. Uh, walking and things. Um, there we go, collected some wheat now. It's not, as obviously you can use it in the, any shops and bits to go to. What we're going to do is we'll walk to the main town in a minute anyway and we'll uh, show you a couple of shops. As for now, uh, we're going to, I'm going to uh, give my character just a, an example to show you what the pet system is like. So if I write Put this down. You can only get this when you've passed this, when you've passed the quest. Uh, but obviously, I want to summon the snozzle, which is uh, it's like a healing uh, critter. So I'm gonna I'm gonna summon this. Um, and then what we're gonna get is we'll go uh, put my inventory away. Okay. He'll heal you as long as you've got water. Uh, I say water water shards. Um, as soon as you've got some of those, he'll start healing you. But as from this, he'll just fight along your side. He follows you, and then obviously, if you get fed up with him and you say you don't want him there no more, you can always infantry check again and say that you want to unsummon. Right, click him first. Actually, I'm not going to hold him. You've got to target him first. Put it down. Unsummon. And obviously, that'll get rid of him then. Um, and then you can summon another character or whatever you'd like to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk to 
Ashwood Town. Uh, hopefully I won't get no mouse, but if I do, I do. These are fixes that all needs doing, um, such as this loading screen at the moment that actually shows a world or whatever getting built around you, which is something to do with water clipping, which is something I've got to sort out. Alright, we're in Ashwood. Um, what we've got here, we've got Jola, which is stood near this horse. He's actually like a caravan, you can sell all your junk and everything to him. Um, I've had a look through, because uh, everything within Realmcraft, or most stuff within Realmcraft is standard, needs repairing, uh, the actual trade system does not work. Um, uh, everything you're seeing within Relica now, or combat, uh, quest, things like this, all this has had to, had to be scripted. Uh, for shadows, water things, all this has had to be hard coded so it, it does take you a, little, a long time to uh, put something of a decent standard together. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look at this guy here. Uh, welcome to Cecil's Food Shop. Yeah, I sell everything from trout to all kinds of meats. The higher the price, the better the quality. So what I'm going to do is have a little look now, see what he's got. And he's, he sells magic fish, chicken, sole beef, salmon, rainbow trout and trout. Obviously it's all raw and you have to cook it. But at least once you get it, you can get your cooking level up. Um, we've got one for archery. You can buy all your stuff. Uh, welcome to Harry's Art Shop. I sell everything, bows, four kinds of arrows. Um, everything that will aid you in battle. Wait for this to come on. And obviously there you've got all your bows and whatever else as well. And then you can go indoors to an indoor shop. Uh, also, if you look here, you've got all your general bits and bats there for doing your smithing. Um, I'm going to go inside here now. Right, this is a, a shop here in which is like Me Melvin's Armour Shop, if you like. Uh, in here you've got um, you've got two characters. You've got Mad Mel. Um, he sells you all his daggers. Um, obviously, all Ashwood weaponry. It's the starting area. You've got a NOS club, which is like the next armour up or weaponry up. And um, that's the best you can buy in here. It's 550 relic. Isn't too bad really. Um, and there's a starting there's a starting area. I mean this is Mad Barry now. You open up his infantry, have a look. See what he's got in there. Yeah, there's quite a there's not quite a substantial amount of various different things you can buy. Um, sometimes zoning can be a problem with these doors. Um, I've got another way that I'm going to add in, but obviously I'm going to add it in after beta, I don't want to be doing it. Okay, we're back in Ashwood Town now. Um, most of these houses down below are accessible. Uh, what I'm going to do is... Uh, and we're going to quickly move on to a quest. Um, So I'm gonna, me and Danny are gonna open up a quest and just show you how the quest window works and variations of that. Um, normally, depending on where we are, so I'm, I'm kind of thinking on the, of a simple one uh, that's uh, basic. Uh, basic. What we're gonna do is we're gonna, I'm gonna walk to inside Stump. Um, okay, we're inside Stump, which is a is a bit of a distance away from there. Um, you've got all your shops, spell shops, and bits and bats in here. 